today we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to use the Zoom H6 as an audio interface with Logic Pro 10. The Zoom H6 has two interface modes. One is stereo mix and one is multi-track. I'll demonstrate both. Before you do anything, you wanna start up Logic without any of the hardware active or plugged in just so it doesn't have to process too many things at once. I'm going to start a uh, new project. Get rid of that. Alright, so right now the H6 it has no right now logic has no interface the H6 isn't active or anything so you don't have a lot of choices for inputs now we're going to go to interface mode on the H6 so there's two choices there's stereo mix and multi track stereo mix is basically uses as it uses it as an outboard mixer like if you want to mix drums before you put it into the recorder etc or um, like a live set whatever you have dedicated inputs on um, XLR and quarter inch combined um, this is a stereo mic capsule so that's track one and two and then these are the four other tracks um, it has a maximum of six tracks if you switch this to the um, the other uh, the other capsule thing that you can plug stuff into so I'll just demonstrate stereo mix right now stereo mix um, mixes everything on the H6 and it just puts it in a, uh, a one stereo one stereo out you can put it in it so you could just mix it to one track so now it gives us an option of one mono input one mono input or the stereo input and that's what that does so now I'm gonna exit interface mode so we can go back into it and this time it will be multi-track mode multi-track mode is more useful so now this mode lets you uh, you can dedicate each track on the H6 to its own track and logic and you can mix it live on here and then those are like the, the trim and then this will be your, your actual mix down station for uh, your actual levels and stuff you'll use the logic mixer for each track so We'll go ahead and uh, you'll see here that you've got many more different options for inputs. Now it's uh, <clears throat> input 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or three combinations of two inputs each. So I'll give you a little rundown on how that works. The inputs on the H6, this is 1, this is 2, that's the left and right of the stereo for the stereo mic. So even though it says input 1, 2, 3, 4, on the H6. If you're in multi-track mode with Logic, input one is actually input three to Logic, and input two is actually input four to Logic, etc. because it already designated the left and right of the stereo mic in as two separate inputs. So that's how that works. And now you'll see here that in Logic, the track says input one and two. Um, you could also toggle it to mono using that little circle icon or right click and you can select your input there within the project. So we're just gonna go back to input one and two and that is gonna be these the stereo mic and you'll see it's picking it up 
All right, and then uh, so what we'll do is new track uh, and put three. I'm not gonna duplicate that for yeah, that's good. That's all we need. Um, so this is gonna be input. This is input one and two of the H6. This is input three of the H6 mono. And this is input, um, this is, this is input, uh, three of the H6 mono. This is input four of the H6 mono. So what I'm going to do actually is, what do you got here? So this is input one and two. Track one is track three. Is input one is input three and input three is input five. So, this is input uh, three, got that, number three is number five, so do that, and then you can see that uh, this mic, let's arm all of them so we can... So that's that mic, and then I got this one here in input and the other one. So that's that track, and then I have the guitar is, yeah, so there you go. That's multi-track mode, and uh, that's pretty much it. There you go.